Our third finalist is Ella Leonard, President, Leonard Engineering. Good evening. It's truly been inspiring to be included with such a remarkable group of women. Thank you to my global for this experience and for the opportunity to share my story tonight. I am Eleanor Leonard, President of Leonard Engineering, which is a structural engineering firm. And I have the privilege of supporting our engineers who ensure essential structures we all enjoy are safe and strong. Twelve years ago, alongside my husband Steve, Leonard Engineering was born in our unfinished basement. We had $2,000, a big dream, and a plan. After many cold days and long nights um, with gloves and air warmers, fast forward to today, where we now include an exceptional team with the ability to work on multi-million dollar projects across the United States, even in Australia. Some of my favorites being preservation projects such as Germantown Mill Lofts, on Goss Avenue. Engineers are often joked about, such as, how do you know when an engineer is an extrovert? When she's looking at your shoes when talking to you instead of her own. <laughs> but in reality, engineers are an innovative group of people that are critical to our society. And one of my passions is being involved in serving opportunities to help educate our youth about STEM careers especially women, as fewer are heading down the engineering path. Being a woman in business over the years, I have been referred to as an overachiever, especially when I announced I was having triplets. But in reality, none of my achievements would have been possible with my strong um, faith guiding me and the wonderful people that have surrounded me. In our business, we say you want a building with good bones, and this is true when forming a team. And our team has great bones. And I particularly enjoy their enthusiasm when I tell them about an exciting new project we'll be doing, and I see their faces light up, and I hear, sweet! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but anyway, we have all heard what it takes to have a successful business. Set goals, persevere, be courageous, many more wonderful principles. And I have applied most. In my previous career as a realtor, alongside my incredible partner, my mother, Betsy Vaughn, we were able to grow our business to be one of the top teams in the country. And I was asked several times to teach about what I was doing. So I shared with other realtors exactly how I was applying many of these principles. And some realtors, with good intentions, set out to apply these words of wisdom as well. But within about a week or two, I found that they were back to their old routines. So my advice is, put into action some of these proven principles. Find a mentor to hold you accountable, and then be willing to do your best work each day, year after year. When you look back, you will be amazed to see how far you've come. None of us were born successful. We all have the potential to realize our dreams. So by making a strong commitment with a serving heart, we all can find epic results for others. Thank you very much for letting me share my story.